It's pumpkin season, so let's make a protein pumpkin bread, starting with the pumpkin puree. Now you could just use the canned pumpkin, which is totally fine, but I will invest a little bit more time to make my own puree. For that I will take a whole pumpkin, this is called Hokkaido, and slice it into two halves. It is safer to first cut the stem off to have a better stand, and then slice the entire thing. Then I will take a spoon and remove all of the seeds from inside. Now instead of throwing them away, you can actually make roasted pumpkin seeds, just clean and remove the strings and then bake them for 20 minutes at 180 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit. Now I will just lay this with the skin up onto a baking sheet with parchment paper and bake them for around 30 to 45 minutes at 200 degrees celsius which is 400 degrees fahrenheit depending on the size of the pumpkin. You can check if they are ready by piercing your knife in it. If it slices through without any resistance, it is ready. Now the cool thing about an Hokkaido is that the skin is so soft that you can actually blend and then eat it. I will just remove the stem from both sides. If you have another kind of pumpkin, you will have to remove the skin. Now I will cut the pumpkin into cubes and put the flesh inside a food processor and then start to mix this until it becomes a very smooth and creamy pumpkin puree. This will take a couple of minutes. Look at this creamy goodness and the color is just amazing. Now transfer this into a container and this will last in the fridge for around a week. Now that the parade is ready, I can start to make the pumpkin bread. Starting with the wet ingredients, into a bowl will go 300 gram of pumpkin puree, followed up by 100 gram of Greek yogurt. I will add in the 2% fat version that will make it lightly creamier and will add the tangy taste to it. And then I will add in 100 gram of pure egg whites. Now whisk this until everything is combined and set the bowl aside. For the dry ingredients I will take a separate bowl and into that I will start with 90 gram of all-purpose flour, then 60 gram or two scoops of vanilla whey protein powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda and then I will add a pinch of salt. Now you could add around a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, but I instead will make my own. For that I will add in two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, be careful with this, this is relatively strong but I really enjoy the taste of ginger, and then half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So you can either go with this or just try to make your own combination. And the last dry ingredient is optional and it's 25 gram of sweetener, I will add in stevia. Now add all of the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and combine this slowly slowly until you have a nice creamy consistency. Now I will take a cake pan and lay parchment paper inside and then I will transfer the entire batter into it. This now goes into the oven for 45 to 50 minutes at 160 degrees celsius or 320 fahrenheit. The cake is ready when it arrives at around 93 celsius or 200 degrees fahrenheit. Now let this cool down for around an hour, then slice it up and there you have a low calorie high protein pumpkin bread that hopefully will give you a reason to hit the like button if you in fact enjoyed the video. The macros for the entire bread are 830 calories, 109 grams of carbs, 7 grams of fat and 80 grams of protein, which in my opinion are very nice macro for a pumpkin bread. In this video you see a similar banana bread, so check that out and see you in the next one.